morning health nuts welcome back to today's vlog i'm currently just starting my day with a tall glass of water it's what i do every single morning just to rehydrate and i feel like it helps wake me up i also have my essential oils going and i'm really excited for today's vlog because i'm going to be talking about what i've been doing to stay healthy and fit while being at home a little bit more than usual. So there's so many things that you can do in your everyday routine to really make yourself feel good and strong. You don't have to go to the gym to have a good workout or to move your body. So I'm really excited to share what I've been doing in these past few weeks. I also just want to say a huge thank you to Spanx for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna be sharing their active line, which I am completely in love with. Their pieces are so stylish. They just like hug the body so well. They're so easy to move in and I feel like they have just been kind of working with me throughout the day, whether I'm just like working on my computer or I'm walking the dog or I'm doing yoga and stretching. Their activewear line is like multi-purpose, which I love. So here is just a little overview of some of the pieces that I got from the Spanx activewear line. I'm in love with their innovative fabrics they use. Um, they're made by women for women. Um, you got, you know, your casual, like everyday outfit. I love this t-shirt. It fits amazing. It's very, all their pieces are very body contouring and very stylish. Like look at this faux leather little outfit uh, with the sports bra. Looks so chic on. And then this is like just an everyday really soft and comfortable black legging set and then I uh, have just like a matching black sports bra and to be honest I don't normally do this much black so when I wear it it makes me feel so stylish I love it and then these shorts are so freaking cool they also have a long pant version but the cut of these I love because I've tried other biker shorts like this and it did not like flatter my body. Um, these are a really beautiful cut and they actually make your legs look long even though they're shorts and they're just so comfortable. Once the weather starts to warm up, I'm definitely going to be wearing these outside on my walks with Cashew. The other thing that's really awesome is they have a 30 day money back guarantee and a very wide range of sizing. But yeah, I will link all of these down below. I'm also wearing uh, these navy blue pants and a camo sports bra, which you'll see when I do some yoga, but I'm just in love and I'm happy to finally add some like chic black outfits to my workout gear. All right, so I've already had my green smoothie this morning and now I'm just gonna have a little snack before I do some yoga and get a good stretch on. Uh, I just cut up some grapefruit, which I've been really into the citrus lately, so I'm gonna have some of this. And I don't know, I feel like a lot of people don't like grapefruit, but well, if you get a good one, they're really sweet. They're not that sour. Mm. So good for you. To help like myself from not like indulging on too many sweets, I feel like I've been just really enjoying fresh fruit lately. So I've been stocking up on tons of fruit. I have cantaloupe, uh, oranges, grapes, banana, apples. Bananas and apples are good things because they last a long time. Um, but I feel like oranges do too. So, and then I'll just put them in the fridge if I need them to last a little bit longer. And then I have them out in my fruit bowl for the ones that I wanna eat, cause I kind of like my fruit room temperature. Mm. Also, I still can't get over my new kitchen. It's so beautiful. If you have not watched my kitchen renovation video, I've linked that up here. You guys can see the whole transformation behind the scenes. It was a lot of work, but a lot of fun and it's totally worth it. Like, I feel like it's transformed this space. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna go eat this and then do some yoga. Got my oils diffusing. I just rolled out my yoga mat. I also have my laptop there. I'm gonna just pull up a, a flow to do on YouTube and do a little yoga and get some stretch going. I got my block, which is good for like balancing and just getting into certain poses. I got my water bottle so I can stay hydrated. Let's do some flow.
So I got cucumber, uh, red pepper, and cherry tomatoes. I'm also gonna slice up this half of a avocado with the avocado hugger on it. This keeps your avocado super fresh and ripe. And even if it goes brown a little bit on top, you just slice it off and it's actually like not mushy or brown inside. I love this little guy. I'll link it down below. I'm also gonna add some just steamed beets that I bought at the health food store. I'm just, they're already like diced up. I diced those up yesterday. And then I'm gonna just chop up the romaine and add that in. Whoops. So pretty. When it comes to my salads, I really just like to add as much variety as possible. So I'm gonna add in a couple of those. Adding in some pumpkin seeds. I also have these dried whole cranberries that are so good. I'm gonna add these in as well. Just a sprinkle. They're so juicy. I love this brand, uh, Patience Fruit & Co. Delicious. And then I just have a little bit of balsamic vinegar on top. This has been my go-to dressing, it's so easy. Some olive oil and, and just a pinch of sea salt. And then I'm just gonna crack in some black pepper, mix that up, and then the avocado is gonna make it really creamy too and kind of add to the dressing. If you're gonna eat a salad for a main meal, it's gotta be big. So I'm gonna let that just marinate for a sec. I already put the other half of my pepper in one of these silicone storage bags. These are great um, to help keep your veggies from going bad as well. I'm just gonna pop this in the fridge. I will link this down below as well. We sell this on the shop. They come in so handy. Now, when it comes to eating healthy, make the stuff that you crave, just make it a bit healthier. For salads, I mean, I don't always crave salads, and when I don't, I'll just make something else and just make it healthy, like a healthy version of it. Just right now with the weather, you know, getting warmer and it's sunnier out, I really feel like my food cravings go with what's happening with the weather. If it was really cold today, I probably would have had like some soup or just something warm for lunch, um, but right now I'm craving a lot of like cold things like smoothies and fresh fruit and salads. Um, so I really just try to honor what I'm craving and that's usually what I end up eating. So it changes day, day by day, but right now I've just been making sure to have a lot of fresh greens and vegetables in the fridge. And then I can just quickly mix um, or just like whip one of these up in no time. And then I can just enjoy this while doing some work or just sit outside on the deck and just like know that I'm getting like a lot of nutrition in one meal. There is no excuse. And you can put whatever you like in it. So if you don't like beets, don't put beets. Mm. And you gotta have a good dressing. This is really simple, but I do have like some really good dressings on the blog. So you guys can check that out if you want something more like fancy, but I really just wanted something simple. Mm. So I'm gonna eat this and go change out of my yoga clothes and do a little bit of work and I'll see you guys in a bit. So one of the things I look forward to the most every day is getting outside for some fresh air and just really to go for a nice walk. Luckily, I have Miss Cashew who is my sidekick these days and she is always a happy camper to go for a nice long walk. Now, something I really like to do just to up my walk a little bit more is do what I like to call a workout walk. This is something I've actually been doing for years and it's just where I include things like walking lunges, uh, stop and squat <laughs> to my walks. If I can find a bench, I'll do some tricep dips. Um, it's really just incorporating body weight exercises in between your walking and it's so effective like after I do this the next day I am so sore and it doesn't even feel like an intense workout but it gets your blood flowing and your muscles definitely feel it so try it out it's such a fun way to get an exercise in also cashew is always wondering what I'm doing and sometimes gets a little bit hyper and attacks me slash her leash um, but hey that's that's the puppy life for you <laughs> 
I am back at home now and I'm just gonna do some light stretching and rolling. Um, I think it's really important to make sure you are stretching and doing that recovery side of working out uh, to really protect your muscles, prevent injury. And even for me, I find even if I'm just like walking a lot, I find my calves have been getting really tight if I don't remember to stretch every couple of days. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I really love rolling my muscles, especially under your like calves and your quads where it gets really sore and your IT band. This is something you can easily pick up online and just give your a really good stretch and rollout at home and I just want to say like I feel like right now especially on social media everyone is doing really intense workouts and I kind of feel lazy because I'm not I'm doing very like low impact um, just gentle workouts like yoga walking uh, stretching and you know there's still movement and for me that's what my body has been craving especially with just like my mental health being kind of all over the place I have not been craving intense workouts and I just want to, you know, maybe tell myself, but also you guys, like if you're feeling the same, it's okay. Um, I feel like everyone has um, different expectations for their fitness goals right now, but really just moving every day is so important. Whatever that may be, whatever you're feeling like doing, um, just move your body. And that could be a walk around the block, um, put on a good podcast, uh, like I said, I've just been walking with Cashew every day and as long as I get a walk in that to me is You know my workout for the day and then anything I do on top of that is just gravy. So um, You know yoga Pilates um, even just stretching like I said, I think is a form of movement and it's not to be you know underrated I love walking. I feel like it's a form of therapy and I've just been really enjoying a slower low-impact workout routine lately so I'm gonna do some rolling, um, but I just want to say a huge thank you to Sphinx uh, for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna link all of the gorgeous pieces that I have been wearing and loving down below in the info box for you guys to check out and shop. Honestly, their pieces are so comfortable and super well made. Um, I know you guys are gonna love them. Like even this t-shirt, Chloe saw it and she already wants to steal it from me and she's really picky, so that says a lot. Um, but definitely go check them out, go give them some love, and thank you so much for watching. Question of the day today, what is one thing you're gonna do today to move your body? Link, or link, comment down below, let me know, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.